Good morning nursery, today is Wednesday the 13th of May and we are going to be talking a little bit about our feelings and then we're going to make a rainbow with things that we've found in our house. So first of all our feelings, have a look at this girl, look at that face, how do you think she's feeling? Is she, is she sad? Is she tired? <sighs> No, she's really, really happy. Can you give me a big, big happy face? Jeez. Oh, think of a time when you were happy. I was happy yesterday when I saw one of the butterflies coming out of its cocoon. In my butterfly house. Right, so let's have a look. There's lots of different feelings in this book. So let's have a little look. First of all, we're going to look at happy. And we're going to look at sad. Okay. Happy and sad. Cameron is happy. He is smiling. Do you feel happy when you smile? Try it now. Give me a big smile. That's it. Even bigger. Does it make you feel happy? It really makes me feel happy when I smile. Look, I can see all oh, his teeth. I can see he's got a big smile. And his eyes look happy and excited. And he looks like he's having a really wonderful time. Feels really good when you're happy. Let's have a look at him now. Oh. His eyes are not so sparkly anymore. And his, his mouth is not smiling. He looks like he might cry. He looks very sad. What could have made him so sad? Maybe his favourite toy got broken. Maybe he misses someone from his family because he can't see them at the moment. Maybe he doesn't know why he's feeling sad. He just is. Sometimes we feel sad and we don't know why. Make a sad face. Do you still feel happy with that sad face? No, I don't either. Quick, let's make a happy face. Ah, much better. And a sad face. No, I don't like having a sad face. It is okay to be sad sometimes, but what you need to do is you need to talk about it if you're feeling sad. Happy face! Jeez! So, on the PowerPoint today, there are some pictures of happy and sad and I'd like you to talk to your family about how those pictures make you feel. And maybe, can you remember a time when you were happy? And can you remember a time when you were sad? We're going to use this book again next week to look at some more feelings. But today, we are just looking at happy and sad. See if you can talk about what makes you happy and what makes you sad. Well done, everyone. Our feelings. Now got some things I found in my house uh, all different colors I've got something that is blue that's a little toy bottle for a baby I've got some pink bubble bath some green socks orange pencil yellow butterfly red owlet and a purple ball loads of different colors <gasps> do you know what i think i've got all of the colors here of the rainbow let's check red orange yellow green blue purple pink <gasps> yes all the colors of the rainbow one two three four five six seven let's see if we can put the colors in the right order to make a rainbow so a rainbow starts with red then it starts to get lighter it changes to orange and it keeps getting lighter and lighter to yellow because remember that red mixed with yellow makes orange so orange is in the middle red orange yellow green then we can change to blue because remember yellow and blue mixed together makes green 
and then purple. And then <gasps> look at my rainbow. It's a beautiful rainbow. And I know a song from Bing, I'm sure you all know Bing, where he sings the colours of the rainbow sliding up to the top. Should we sing it together? It goes hmm, a little bit different. Pretty purple, indigo, blue and green and bright yellow, sunset orange, ruby red, rainy bow above my head. That's the way the colours go, climbing up the rainy bow. So we have purple and pink down here at the bottom. Some people call it indigo and violet. And that's different names for purple and pink. We go blue, purple, pink, and then you can start all the way again. <laughs> Back on red. Well done, everyone. I'll see you all again tomorrow. Bye.